Welcome to the Kill Screen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cabinet Review. This is my arcade, my home arcade, so far in the making, and the room's a little bit of a mess. Uh, <laughs> but we are here today to review this. The review for this here is coming next, so uh, be prepared for that one. But again, today we are here to review this. Okay, first off, the marquee is the original from the arcade, and it does not light up. I do not have a light up marquee. However, they just announced at CES they are making these to light up. And inside the machine, it actually has a plug that you can plug this into to light up. So I think every um, one up arcade machine from now on, if it doesn't actually come with a light up marquee, you can buy one separately. Which is kind of cool. Now if you look at one of the normal machines here, like say Rampage, the control panel reaches from corner to corner because even though this is a three player, they still manage to do corner to corner on this. But for the Turtles, this is a four player, just like the one that was in the arcade. So they extended it out on both sides to make it much bigger. And you think it would look kind of weird extended out like that, but it doesn't really. It looks uh, pretty nice. So let's take a look at the right hand side of the machine. Again, this is from the arcade. And I don't remember if this came out before or after the movie. I'm going to say probably after the movie. So I don't know why they couldn't have gotten the actress that was in the movie to play April O'Neil on the cabinet. But it's just weird. I don't know. It's, it's cool that they kept the same artwork. It's really awesome artwork. But you can see like all the turtles are airbrushed. <laughs> She's real, the background's airbrushed, and the turtles here, Raphael and Leonardo, are coming out of the sewers down here on the bottom. Now the artwork on the other side is exactly the same. Here's our April O'Neil with the airbrushed background. And Leonardo, Raphael coming out of the sewer. Back here is Donatello just chilling. And up here in the corner is... Michelangelo. Okay, so for this extended wide control panel, it's awesome. The graphics on here are really good. You know, you got blue for Leonardo, yellow, I guess it's supposed to be orange. I don't know why it's yellow for Michelangelo. You have purple here for Donatello. And of course, on the end here, you have red for Raphael. I don't know why they decided to do Michelangelo yellow. I'm assuming it was probably a mistake on their behalf, but uh, you know, one up kept the mistake. <laughs> it's still yellow. Up to this point, I've never had a custom riser come with machine. All these were bought separately for every one of these machines. Now, Turtles actually came with its own riser, and it has its own artwork on the riser. On both sides, it just says the Turtles. And the other cool thing about this, and I'm glad they're kind of doing it with all the machines now, is the highlight the stripping here on the corners. I think it's all green. And if you look at any of the other machines, they're just plain. They don't have any of the highlights, except for Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the only one I have that has the red trim on it, which really makes it awesome. Okay, one other thing before I actually turn this thing on and show you uh, the graphics and the controls and everything, is this actually came with stereo speakers. It's hard to see them because they're just holes up here on the, on the top right under the marquee, um, but you know, they got left and they got a right stereo speaker up here. Okay, so let's turn this on and I'm going to show you some of the graphics and the sound and everything else that comes with the Turtles. So the main screen right here comes up and you can either play the original Turtles and it actually has Turtles on it. How is that? And you can hear is if you just leave it on the main screen here, it just plays the music. Now the other really cool difference is, and I believe they're gonna be doing this forward with all the other cabinets, is the volume control. Because people complained a lot about the volume on these games because either it was low or super high. I'll give you an example. Okay, this is Street Fighter. <laughs> and you can hear how loud it is. It's playing itself right now. Okay, you had a volume switch, it's high. And there's the speaker there Round too. What? So, bite. And like the new speakers are up underneath here, so it makes it much nicer anyway. But anyway, okay, so volume-wise, super loud. That's 
half medium, which is less loud, but still kind of loud. And you turn it off. And you can just turn off the volume completely. Medium, and super loud. Now, what they did here on the new machine is it actually has a slider. So when you push it over, you see it has a volume slider that comes up. You can make it super loud. Or make it any volume you want, really, which is such a huge improvement on these cabinets. And you just push it back and forth. There's no clicking or anything. It's just a button that pushes back and forth. Okay, so let's get some gameplay in here, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so my wife is going to play a little bit of the original Turtles here. And who are you going to pick? You know who I'm going to pick. Who are you picking? Donatello. All right. Donatello is my number one dude. So one thing, if you're on any of the Facebook channels or Facebook whatever, one thing they complained about a big time was they actually redid the music, the opening music to the Turtles, because I guess they couldn't get the rights to, to do the original theme. So what you're about to hear is the remake of the theme. So I'm gonna turn it up a bit so you can hear it. All right, so here is the opening for the Turtles. There you go. There's the opening uh, song. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. All right. So now we're going to going in as Donatello. Fire! I'm on Nickel. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Play Turtles of Time. Did you ever play Turtles of Time before? Nope. I don't think I ever have either. So this is a new one. I have no idea what even the intro looks like. Winners don't use drugs. That's true. Statue of Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, it moves around a lot more. This is my first time ever seeing Turtles in Time. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to come in here as Leonardo.
So there you go. There is the Turtles 1-Up Arcade Machine, and it is super impressive. And of course it costs a lot more than just your regular 1-Up machines. These were around $299. You're talking probably $400 for this one. But it's always going on sale. I mean, we got ours on sale for like $200 or $250 or something like that. So yeah, you can always find these things on sale. And uh, But even at the $400 price mark, it's still an impressive machine with the new stereo and the new volume control and the really huge panel you got going on and the green highlights and it has its own custom uh, riser so yeah there's a lot of really awesome things going on with this and to be honest it's still weird to walk in here and see that I own the Turtles machine that was in the arcades so it's kind of crazy that you know yeah it's here in my house now and soon to be here in the house is Star Wars and that's going to even be more crazier that that's actually going to be in my arcade so yeah i can't wait to put that one together and i'll give that a review for you too this is the newest one i got and then we got the turtles and then we got um star wars which i hope i hope will be put together today up here on the wall you can see i collect legos these are my lego minifigures and these are actually all the costume characters and over here are actually all my monster characters, which some have fallen off and I have to fix. <laughs> but what I'm planning on doing is getting some shelves and putting them above the Turtles and putting a shelf here above Star Wars and putting Turtles stuff above the Turtles game and Star Wars stuff above the Star Wars game. So that's going to be a lot of fun when all that's completed. And I'll be back. I will show you the full completion of the shelves and everything. Once uh, Star Wars is together, we're going to put the shelves up and I'll bring you another review. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I enjoyed uh, bringing it to you. It was a lot of fun uh, taking a closer look at this machine. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back and check out my Star Wars. I will, I'm gonna tell you right now, I will be getting the new Pac-Man. The new Pac-Man they just showed at CES. So that's the next one that's going to be uh, in the room. And I'll probably end up selling this one even though I love the look of this one. But the other one has all my favorite games in it. And Galaga may go as well. I'm not sure yet because of the fact that it does have Galaga in the new Pac-Man cabinet. So that's it, Turtles fans. We are reviewing all the Turtle movies all month long here. And this is why I decided to bring this to you. And over on my It Figures channel, we are reviewing some action figures. Some Turtle action figures. Some new ones, some old ones, some classic ones. And I'll have a link to that below too if you want to go check that out. So for now, it is game over.